please stay here and uh, please follow all the instructions I'm going to give you now. Keep your notebook with you. Please keep your notebook with you. Please keep your pencil with you. Also, please keep the printed copy of this booklet number seven also with you. This is very important. Because you now looking at this one or viewing this on a mobile phone, which is a small phone, it's not going to be very easy for you. So the booklet is very important. Okay, so I suppose that you have the booklet with you. Okay. I don't want to ask how many of you have it, but it is very important that you have the booklet with you. Please keep the booklet. Now, we are going to deal with the case notes. We are going to... Please, Lucy, please mute your mic. Everybody, please mute your mic. So we know today is Monday, and every Monday we have... Uh, the first two steps of our Melon's OET letter writing. M and E are the main topics today. Please have a look at this one, everybody. Have a look at the screen. On Mondays, today is Monday. On Monday, we have M and E. On Tuesday, we have L and O. You may remember all these things, but I have to repeat this so that you will not forget that for the examination. Those who went for the examination this time, they all said that the exam was easy, except the reading part. Reading part is still a problem for many people. So we are going to have, we are already having four classes for, every day we are having four classes for reading and listening. So please never miss those classes. On Wednesday, we have a narration and signing. These are the, three days or these are the six steps to write a letter and everybody is supposed to follow these steps and on Thursday and Friday we have got a correction on the remaining days correction we'll be having corrections so this is how we plan our writing classes every day Monday to Friday okay so on Monday we have got marking we have got marking and elimination this is something that you have to do for your exam also Please, it is not only for this class. This is also for your examination. So when you go for the examination, suppose uh, suppose Jason is going to have her exam um, within the next one month. So when she goes to the examination hall, you know, the first one is listening, and then the next one is uh, reading, then the next one is writing, and finally we have got speaking. So when you get the uh, listening, sorry, when you get the writing case notes, case notes or the question paper you have to do this uh, with this case notes first without that no one is going to write the letter marking is the most important one after that elimination is the next one so today we are going to spend only marking and elimination tomorrow we'll be having launching of the letter launching means it's all about the starting of the letter and then opening paragraph of the letter m E L O opening and then uh, opening paragraph means the first paragraph number one. Okay, para one, para number one. And the launching is all about uh, the first part that is the date, address, dear sir, and the subject that is RE. We know that. I hope everybody knows it. So this is known as the launching and this is known as the opening part. We'll be discussing that tomorrow. And then we have got the narration part. Narration means it's all about um, the paragraph number two, three, four, five, or if you have a sixth paragraph, that's also fine. That is known as narration. And for narration, we have got a technique called diving and rising, which will be discussed on Wednesday. And anybody can write any letter, nurses or physiotherapist or anybody can write a letter using our methods. Okay. And um, okay. Then finally, we have got the signing. Signing, everybody knows what is signing. That is all about S-I-G-N-I-N-G. Signing is simply like uh, yours faithfully or yours sincerely, uh, charge nurse or doctor, whatever you want to write. So these are our Melon's method of writing. So that means first one is known as marking. Second one is known as elimination. Third one is known as launching. Then the next is opening, then narration and signing. So all together we call them Melon's 
letter writing method. Please follow this and understand this now. Today is Monday and today we are going to have marking and elimination. Please concentrate very well and this is very important for you. Today we are going to do the marking part. What are we going to mark? Everybody knows. Can somebody please read out the mark uh, information that you have written on your notebook, please? If anybody wants to read. Anybody here who wants to read? Those who prepared it for the exam yesterday. Anybody, anybody can come. Anybody can come for board. All right. No problem. It's okay. So here. Sir, I'm seeing. Okay, Mahalishmi, one second, please. Okay. So what I can do is um, you should know where to start this one. We have to look for only this ones. P P R R A A five times D W K. These things are to be looked in the in the case notes. You know what is it? Okay, it's all about a patient's name. Second is purpose of writing the letter, recipient's name, request, admission condition. Admission date, discharge condition, discharge date, date of writing the letter, and uh, uh, whether the condition is diagnosed or not diagnosed, direction, writer of the letter, whether it is a known case or a, not a non, not known case. This is it. These are the things that you have to mark. Okay, so you know where to find all of them. You should know where to find each of them. Just to help you to find out once again, I'm showing you where to find the most important one. The first one is all about uh, the patient's name. Here, the patient's name and the age is given here. This is a starting point. This is a starting point of the uh, marking. First one, name and okay. Just after the name, you have to go to the next one that is usually that will be found in this area. That is the purpose. Purpose will be found here. So, sorry. Uh, patients, yeah, patient's name and a purpose. Then we have also got the recipient's name will be also found here. And uh, um, re yeah, recipient's name will be found here. And the discharge, in the discharge plan area, you'll be able to see the request. Okay, request will be found in this area, discharge plan area. And then after that, PPRR completely over. Then you have to go back to the next one that is. A1 and A2. We usually find A1 and A2 in the in this area somewhere like yeah, admission condition and uh, admission date will be found in some somewhere here in this area. You'll be finding it. Okay. Admitted is there. Okay. Yeah, probably this one. So admission condition and admission date are found here. Then we have got discharge condition and discharge date will be usually either found in this area somewhere or you'll be able to see just before in this area, wound healing well, yes, wound healing well, see? So you should know where to find each items here, discharge condition and discharge date. If you don't find the discharge date here, there are multiple ways of seeing the discharge date. Either discharge date will be somewhere found next to admission, this area, it can be found, okay? Okay. Or you can also find the discharge uh, date and discharge other detail, details can be found in this area. Or sometimes you can also see this in this area. These are the three areas where you can find the discharge condition and discharge date. After this one, you have to go to D3, that is the date of writing. Date of writing also can be found somewhere in this area. So somewhere here you can see the okay, date of writing. So D1 and D2 and D3, all the three things can be found in these areas. In these areas, you can find them. You can look at the pink color, the pink uh, arrow, you can see there. Okay. So that is known as the, please mute your mic, if, okay. So uh, discharge condition and discharge date. So I'm telling you, because it is very important, just like somebody who is in a kitchen, like for example, Anumol, if Anumol is going to ANSI's kitchen, ANSI's kitchen, for the first time, Anumol will not be able to understand where the tea powder is kept and the coffee powder is kept and, the, uh, and this and that is kept. But ANSI knows it. So just like ANSI who knows where each item, each, uh, you know, 
the things are kept in the utensils is kept in the kitchen you should also know where the pradok is kept in the case notes pradok p p r r a a five times d and w k this is very important without knowing that you should never start writing a letter okay so here we have found that p p r r a a d d d now we have got two more d's the fourth d is diagnosed whether the patient the patient's condition is diagnosed or not we can usually find that in this area we can find whether that patient's okay so here you can see the diagnosis every letter you won't be able to see that way okay don't think that you can see it every day on the same way so that is the diagnosed condition uh, sorry with the diagnosis and then there is a last d the last d is nothing but uh, direction what is direction this is something you have to very clearly very uh, keenly see what is direction direction means there are three kinds of directions a to b b to a a to b b to c a to b b to b these are the three kinds of uh, directions so in this case um, who can tell me what was the direction of this letter sir a b a a b a is the patient going back to the same place yes yes sir going back to home going back to home okay but the recipient what about the recipient aras Yes, sir. Recipient should go to his home, sir. No, no. The yeah, the recipient has to go to patient's home. So you mean? No, no. Recipient has to send the information to the uh, patient home. Yeah. So the uh, recipient doesn't have to go. If you look at the writing task, Mr. Oriel has requested advice on low-fat dietary guidelines and the healthy simple recipes. Write a letter to the community information section of the Heart Foundation. Uh, Gregory Terrace, Brisbane, on the patient's behalf. On the patient's behalf, okay. Use the relevant case notes to explain Mr. Oriel's situation and the information he needs. Include medical history, uh, body mass index, and lifestyle. Okay, you cannot see that, I hope. Um, but you have the printed booklet with you. Uh, information should be sent to his home address. If you want, you can see here. Information should be sent to his home address. That is the last part of this case notes. So is it once again? I'm asking: Is it A to B to C? Is it A to B to A? Depending on the recipient, think about the recipient. A to B to C is A to B to A. The patient is going back to home, right? Yes. Yeah. In terms of that, it is A to B to A. Uh, but in terms of the recipient, it is A to B to C. I'll, uh, we'll be discussing that later on. Now, don't get any confusion now. Just think it is A to B to A. Correct. So we have got almost all of them. Then we have to find out uh, the last two, two things, W and K. Who is the writer? Writer is very clear. Who is the writer here? Registered nurse. Okay. You are a registered nurse. Now, then uh, what about this? Yeah, here. Uh, K, is it a known case or a not known case? K, K stands for known or not known. Unknown. Unknown, is it, sir. Is it an unknown case? Okay, fine. So these are the information you have to mark before writing the examination. So we have found almost all the information. So the marking has been almost done here. Almost all the marking part has been done i have made some kind of changes in the case notes you can see there's some kind of uh, changes in the case notes fine so that is all about the marking part so before you write the examination everybody you have to do the marking first without a marking you will not understand you will not understand you'll be like somebody who is going to new york and you are finding no way to go home like you are going to New York for the first time, or you are going to um, you are going to New Delhi for the first time, and you don't know the direction, and you will be lost there. You will be lost there, and you will be wasting your time. But if you follow this paradox or this marking method, you will be able to find it. Everything will be found there. So this is the end of the marking here today. Now after marking, you know that we have got the next one that is elimination elimination is something that you have to do 
I cannot really completely help you because you are nurses and you have the common sense, you have the medical knowledge. Okay, but still I can help you. We are going to eliminate what? Eliminating what? We are going to eliminate every information that the recipient will not require. Require. That's it. Any information that the recipient will not require. How do we decide that? To understand that, you should understand who is the recipient. Who is the recipient? Who is the recipient here? Community information center. Okay. Community, okay. Information, okay, center, yeah. Community information section, section. of the Heart Foundation, yeah, Cricket Terrace. Community information section, okay. So, who is the recipient is clear now. And then who is the patient? What is the patient's present condition? What is the, pres uh, the present condition of the patient? Showing a notable pro progress or recuperating. Uh, not, not, uh, no, no recuperation here? You have to understand that. Okay. You have to see whether the patient is recuperating or not recuperating. If it is recuperating, you have to give uh, a different kind of information. If it is not recuperating, a different kind of information is to be passed. So based on these two, two three things, you have to decide what is important. Now, please, everybody, do one thing. Please read the case notes completely. All of you, please read the case notes. I'm giving you two to three minutes now. Please read the case notes. Please read the letter, sorry, the case notes completely. And after that, please tell me which of the points, which of these information you will remove from this case notes. Sir, admission date and operation date 2009 and 2008. Okay, where is that? Where is that admission date and? Uh... Operation date. Okay, admission date is 2009. And operation was done in? September to September. Oh, okay, 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 I'm sorry. Should be 2009, right? Yes, sir. 
and today's date what is the today's date given here that is also fine okay that is a that is a typing mistake fine is there any other such mistakes here okay all right we are going to start now tell me which of the information are you going to include this actually we are doing the elimination part of this case notes now which of the information are you going to remove from this area please tell me please tell me which of these information you are going to remove from this area somebody who wants to speak fourth, yeah fourth line sir next of kin brother next of kin you will completely exclude this one what is the reason can you please tell me the reason also if it is okay because the main purpose of writing this letter is what what is the main purpose of writing this letter to request to send some information to the patient right so is yes, the sir. is the recipient going to uh, contact any of the next of kin or the relatives no sir no is the recipient no, going to uh, write a letter to uh, i mean uh, ernie oriel is it is there any possibility any home visit any possibility no so since the next of kin Uh, who is the brother whose name is Ernie Oriel, who is 72 years, who lives at Bedford at Jericho. Uh, since this man is not going to be contacted by the recipient, this information is totally incorrect yeah. and yeah, irrelevant. So if you include any of the irrelevant information, your score is completely damaged. Now, is this address important or not? Yes, yes sir. Important. Sir. Definitely, this is the address of the recipient because there is a saying that there is there is it's saying that write a letter to the home address, right? Yes, sir. Yes, Information sir. should be sent to his home address is very clearly mentioned there. So therefore, that is important. Information, home address is important. These things are very important. Okay, so if you spend this ten minutes for. marking and elimination before writing the letter your letter writing will be so safe okay now everybody knows that the name of the patient is very much important date of birth is important name and date of birth both of them are highly important here we know then he was admitted to on sec, uh, 2nd september 2009 is it important or not in the lega there is some kind of noise from your side please 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 i don't know what is the reason maybe it's some network issues there okay yes are you going to include the next one admitted is it important yes sir and yes, sir. diagnosis diagnosis yes sir important and yes. operation yes very much important yes, yes. coming to the next one social history are you going to include we can include fencing contract only i think fencing Because... contract yeah We have to include leaves alone. Because they have mentioned in the simple recipes because he is alone. Okay. Leaves alone, we have to mention, sir. Yeah, according to the his preparation and his situation, mm -hmm. uh, the recipient can give the advice. Simple recipes. Okay. So there's a problem. Like in India, whenever we think about diet and cooking, we always associate that with the wife. but in european countries there is no connection with that so kitchen is not the area which is assigned especially for the woman that is not at all there in those countries so we have to think about that never married lives alone so i also never married marrying or not marrying is not a problem at all in australia so there also we have to understand that our indian way of thinking maybe the african way of thinking how to has to come a little bit change according to this one so never married lives alone in own home just outside woodwind okay here lives alone can be included here i will go for that he he got never married is totally irrelevant in this case in this area i hope it is fine if anybody doesn't agree with me please tell me i can correct myself okay somebody said i think suraj it was you who said fencing contractor can be included so can you please tell me the reason for that 
uh the fencing contractor is leading a he he's not doing any physical activity so he's leading a sedentary lifestyle that's why I... okay he's a fencing contractor oh, okay that's a, a sedentary lifestyle yeah a lifestyle in which there is no exercise yeah that can be included fencing contractor um yeah good one so what you can do is this these two lines can be combined in the social area that means in the in the second last paragraph you can write this way a fencing contractor fencing contractor there was an error some people used to commit the mistake like by profession you don't have to say by profession because a nurse by profession a nurse by profession we don't have to say by profession because nurse is already a profession so a nursing contractor then miss sorry mr Mr. Watt, what is his name? Oriel. Mr. Oriel. Um, lives alone in... Lives, yeah. Alone. In own home. Own home. Is it important? Own home. No, own no. home comes no. when it is like a occupational and, you know, social things like... A, yeah, occupational can be uh, connected to own house, whether he is a rich man or a poor man or he is paying the rent and his income, all those things are coming in the own house thing. Lives alone is enough, okay? So remember this, lives alone. So here, what we have to think is, suppose you wrote, yeah, suppose yeah, suppose you wrote, suppose you wrote own house, it is okay. Nobody is going to check, uh, look at that mistake uh, very, uh, very carefully, but sometimes we don't know who is going to check your paper. We don't know who is going to check your paper, okay? So therefore, we have to be careful about that. A fencing contractor by, uh, a, sorry, a fencing contractor, Mr. Uh, Oriel lives alone. That can be the only line that is required here. So fine, we are moving on. Then the medical history. Should the recipient of the letter? Sir, yeah. Sorry, sir. Yeah. Um, sir, does this sentence stand by itself? We can write it or we have to write, uh, please note. Uh, you're talking about no, the issue? This one? Yeah, yes, the sentence last we discussed. He okay. lives alone. You, you, can write, uh, you can write this way. Please note that he is a fencing contractor and lives uh, in, uh, sorry, and lives alone. That's fine. But we have uh, introduced a new style to, uh, to, you know, to make it very attractive so that anybody can, any assessor will be happy to give you the score. And this is used by only by us. It's not outside English Melon. So, this is a stylish st statement, okay. So, uh, nurse, sorry, um, fencing contractor. A truck driver. Once again? Yeah, the same thing. Truck you have driver. given this example. Yeah, nurse, same thing, same yeah. Thing. yeah. Yeah, retired. Uh, a retired army police officer, army officer, yes. Mr. John lives alone, something. So, this will give a good impression. That's it. Suppose the assessor is very angry with you. The assessor is very angry with you. You have committed plenty of mistakes and the assessor was just going to give you 250. At this point, then suddenly, um, by God's grace, the assessor noticed this one. It, um, a fencing contractor, Mr. Oh, that's beautiful. So maybe, maybe uh, that 250 can go to 290 just because of that. See, we cannot... We cannot judge what, how people think, okay? Because your assessors are also human beings who have very little medical knowledge and a lot of English knowledge. Okay, and they will be happy only when they see the English uh, caliber of the student, not of the uh, medical caliber, because, uh, because you know that. I hope you can understand the common sense thing. So, you have to please the assessor. You have to please the interlocutor. You have to please everybody with your English knowledge rather than medical knowledge. Because that is a good thing. Your papers are going to be assessed by people like myself who have no idea, who do not know more than five medicines names, including myself. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, right. So, this will be a good one. So, if you want, you can write it as a standalone sentence. Okay. Or you can write the other way, which I told you. A fencing contractor, um, Mr. Oriel lives alone. Okay. So, it is time for us to go to the medical history part. Medical history is a very important one. We cannot easily remove them. Uh, he is having allergy to... Uh, okay, so since 
the recipient is going to send simple recipes all about eating and uh, eating related problems. Let's see what you are going to include. Are you going to include, which of them are you going to first remove from this one? Sorry, except height, we can uh, add also. Why height is to be removed? The height also we want for uh, calculate uh, BMI. We can get the Everything BMI. is important. We can, yes. we can get the BMI from this one. Yeah. Because without yes. the height, we cannot uh, calculate the BMI. BMI. Yeah. So, okay. Alcohol, heat I takes think alcohol. we can include all the, all the things. All the points. So then how will this alcohol help him? Yeah, tell me, tell me. I think um, the um, diet aspect should go to the social aspect. The food is not a medical diagnosis. So? I think you should go to the social history. Mm. Uh, which one? The, the alcohol the, part? Alcohol no, the part. Food, 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 food. Food. The diet, sausage, deep fried chips. Mm -hmm. eggs i mean i feel it should be in the social aspect it's not no, a no. medical okay okay see actually oet will not give you in the right way oet is not here to help you okay oet will try to uh, confuse you by putting something medical in the social part and uh, something uh, social in the medical part they will and that is what they always do we cannot depend on them okay in Tulega, there is again some problem from you and mute your mic okay please don't feel bad okay just uh, there's some lot of noises when you maybe your fan is turned on and the fan is blowing a lot of uh, I mean air onto the mouth of I mean the uh, your your mic probably that could be the reason okay now that's okay uh, Christy that's okay whether they have put the medical things in the social and social things in the medical that's okay we we don't have to worry. Let them put anywhere no problem because oh it is the people who are doing this, something like a um to be monitored to be monitored okay they're right but we know that we have to use the word need to be monitored so they will not write in need why because it is to confuse you so oet will always confuse you to check whether you are an alert person or not and if you are not an alert person you are not supposed to work in a, a hospital in a standard hospital in the uk or in the australia okay that's very clear so they are checking not only your writing skills, also how careful you are. For example, if the medicine's dosage is like a microgram, okay, MCG, okay, microgram. And if you don't see them, see there, and if you write milligram, of course, you should not go abroad. You have to be here only wherever you are working, okay. And one day, the even your own hospital also will fire you, will uh, dismiss you just because of your carelessness. Okay, that that means. In India or in Australia, you have to be careful. So microgram and uh, milligram, you should be uh, very ca careful about that one. Some people, like they have a habit of changing the names. For example, the name is Oriel. <laughs> then they may write even Oreo. What about they like? Okay, because their kids are always eating that uh, biscuit Oreo. So they like that way. So sometimes it can be Miss and they will go for Mrs. Why? Okay, it's okay. No change at all. And for them, some, some people, they cannot write although without a comma. My God, although. They always write although, okay. And there are so many kind of people there, okay. So um, we have to be careful about that. Coming to this one, smokes, 20 cigarettes, smoking and drinking and BMI and uh, the diet and allergic reaction to nuts. Is there anything that you can remove? Please tell me. None. All should be added. All should be added. Okay. What about beer? Will it be good for him? No, you don't need to, you don't need to add the beer. We need Just to add. So, no, sir. Uh, his That's dietary it. advice, Simi. Alcohol. Your diet and alcohol, they are connected because some people can uh, have more uh, food uh, when they, uh, when they uh, take a little bit of alcohol also because even uh, beer also has got 8 uh, or 10 uh, percentage of alcohol in that so that could be the reason we can include that because alcohol is a good digest uh, you know it, it helps with the digestion so this can be i think all can be removed uh, sorry included but at the same time if there is anybody in this class who thinks that 
Something can be removed. Please tell me. Allergic reaction to nuts. It is to be included because so that he can, he can. Why? I will include this. Why? The reason is, anyway, the recipient is going to uh, recommend a certain kind of recipes. And if he's recommending a recipe that is having nuts in that, of course, he has to be careful about that. So it is a very important one. We can never even um, remove this. Everything is important. And he eats um, sausages, deep fried chips, uh, eggs, McDonald's, all these things are that, that uh, he is eating. So they are known as junk food. Okay, they are most of them are known as junk food. So of course, this is his usual diet. And uh, the recipient can think about changing some of them or all of them. So these are to be included. And his BMI is very clearly here. And uh, you have to mention that also. So everything is important. In that case, if you have given me the permission to uh, keep all of them here, we are moving to the nursing management and progress area. Should the recipient know all these things? This is my question. These things, should the recipient know? is having routine post-operative recovery. Yes, definitely the recipient has to know because if he is having a routine post-operative recovery, a complicated recovery, a nil recovery, a fast recovery, every recovery is different one for the uh, recipient in this case. So he can, and this is to be included. Advice to cease smoking, reduce alcohol. Yeah, these two advice have been given. Are you going to include or not? In your letter, anyway, you're, yeah, I mean, uh, the recipient is going to write a letter. The recipient is not going to meet the patient. Remember that. Suganya, Suganya, Suganya. Okay, listen. Um, the recipient is going to advise through a letter. They are not going to meet. So, advice to see smoking and reduce alcohol. <clears throat> this can be told. This can be told. It can be included here. Now, um, low fat diet, walking well, wounds healing well, uh, routine visit from a social worker. I think uh, that is not necessary to add. A social worker, this one? Yeah. Visit social worker, no one needed. Yeah, I think you're right. We can remove that. Routine visit from social worker. Will the, will the recipient think about that? We are writing to write a letter to the community information section of the Heart Foundation. And the purpose is simply uh, include medical history. Uh, sorry. Mm. Information should be sent to uh, his home address. Yeah, you're right. Routine visit from social worker is totally unnecessary. And uh, what about this one? Wood is healing well, walking well and low fat diet has been recommended or he has started this? Yes, sir. Walking what? well means that we can uh, write only low fat diet. Mm -hmm. And wound healing, he may uh, change his advice in more uh, vitamin C diet. Very good, very and good. fat sir. diet also, they have started from the hospital. So means he may understood. That means recipient may understand and continue the low fat diet. Very good, very good. I think you are completely right. Anybody having a different opinion, you can say. Don't think that you are hurting somebody's sentiments when you are saying something wrong. Like, um, you can say, no problem. We can positively uh, correct everybody, no problem. If anybody has a, a different opinion. Sir, there is no, according to me, there is no need to mention wound is healing, uh, healing well. Because the hospital won't give discharge, no sir. Yeah. After post-recovery only. So no need to mention that. Mm, sometimes, don't you think that sometimes uh, if the wound is not healing well for a long time, like for one week, uh, and the hospital thinks that there is nothing the hospital can do now, just physiotherapy and some kind of other changes can help the patient to heal the wound well after the discharge. In such cases, I think it is okay, Tripti. I think it's okay. I mean wound is healing well, let the recipient know because the recipient is also probably is from the medical uh, medical level. Okay, so wound is healing well. So uh, in terms of the request that we are making, what is the main request here? What is the main purpose here? 
like recipes. Basically, it's all about uh, Mr. Oriel has requested advice on low fat dietary guidelines and healthy simple recipes. And the same recipes uh, is going to be sent to his home address, home address here. And in terms of these two things, when you connect this one, wound is healing well, can be included. There is nothing wrong in that one. But if you remove this, it is okay. It is a semi-relevant kind of an information. It is okay if you, if you write or if you don't in, include this one, it is completely all right. But there is a better weightage for this one that you include this. Wound is healing well. So that the uh, recipe, uh, sorry, the, the advice also can be Related to wound is healing well. Okay, I'm confused. And also one uh, one thing we have to note in this case because mm -hmm. this is cardiac surgery and the bypass mm -hmm. surgery is a very major surgery comparing to other surgery. It's very major. Okay. This surgery, so the wound healing is main point. As you said, it is not uh, exact important points. Additionally, mm -hmm. we can add in this. Okay. It's okay. semi relevant. Semi-relevant one, okay. Yeah, yeah there based are... on the wound, wound healing, based on the diet also important contribution to improve the wound healing. That means the healing part. Okay. Excuse me, diet. sir. Uh, yeah. We are writing the letter to community information section of the Heart Foundation. That's the reason why we are, heart, we should heart, include okay. the wound healing. Okay, okay. Wound healing is important, okay. Anyway, still it is okay. It is only reaching up to 80% important. You cannot say it is a 100% important one. Fine. Anyway, you can include or you can exclude. The only point is those who are attending this class now understand it is not very easy to uh, eliminate certain points in the letter. And if you uh, if you are careless about including or excluding these points, you will your score will really be affected. Okay, that's a very important one. And I think everybody knows. Everybody in this class knows that there are certain criteria based on which the OET is giving you the score. And this one. Uh, relevance relevance means uh, including or excluding the irrelevant uh, and relevant information in a letter is a very important part of scoring the uh, scoring uh, points okay it's very important now coming to the next one so the conclusion is you can include this one uh, it is a kind of an important one okay because i did not give you the final answer because i'm not the exact person to say but i think mahalishmi your point and Suraj, both of your points are to be respected here. Okay, uh, fine, Tripti, fine. So we are going to the next one. Return home, uh, sorry, returning home to Woodwind, discharge plan, okay. Appointment made for follow-up visit to local GP Dr. April Jensen, 2 p.m. on this date. This may be a confusion for some of you. At least it is confusion for me. Are we going to include the second point, please? No, no sir. sir. It is not necessary, sir. If it is paragraph is uh, content, body of content is less, we can add this. We can no, even if even if the body of con uh, the content, sorry, the body is uh, sorry, the content is low, we shouldn't include this one because what is what is the community information section going to do with the appointment? Nothing. Nothing, really nothing. Okay, yeah. Big, yeah. See, we have to be careful with the, the semi-relevant things also. Semi okay, this is totally irrelevant. So they are really going to check this one. Now, returning home to Woodwind. Returning. Returning home to Woodwind. Is it important or not? It's important. It, 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 because... is really, it is really important because if you are writing a letter to him, so see, actually... There are two letters in this case notes. One, the letter that you are going to the community information section. And the second one is the letter that they are going to send to Mr. Oriel. So when uh, the community information section will send a letter, they should make sure that he's at home. Okay, so that can be simply included. Not very important. Yes, and also, they did not mention the discharge date here. So Probably. based on this line, we have taken the discharge date. Yeah. And the opening paragraph, we will conclude by this way only. This, this, uh, this information has to be included there. Okay, that means discharge date is missing in the original one. That could be the reason why. See, they have really, this is how OET is really making us fools. Okay, two people left the class, maybe because of some other reason 
maybe some network issue, but they miss this point very well. Okay, this point is a very important one. Okay, now local physiotherapist to continue rehabilitation exercise program, probably at home. Then are you going to include this? Physiotherapist and your role, simple recipes. Are you going to include? Is it your concern? It's not uh, should be must accept additional work. I think this no, can be removed. By doing the physiotherapist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think um, you should be included because the mm -hmm. recipient is a community information. Okay. It, it has to, to also have a knowledge because when he's educating the man, he needs to educate the man about the exercise to follow up the exercises he has been doing too. He has to talk about it because he's going to give him diets. Mm -hmm. What he wants to do with it. To me, I feel it's just semi-relevant anyway. Semi-relevant one, okay. Local physiotherapist. Uh, will the physiotherapist contribution help him with his present condition is important one. Okay. Anybody having a different opinion about the last point? Yes. Anybody, I think Christy's point is correct here. Sir, instead we write in the discharge plan, can we write uh, um, that thing in a medical, uh, like nursing management and we can, progress? We can, we can, we can mention anyway. We have anyway. continued, yeah. The physiotherapy has been continued rather than focusing um, on yes, that sir, point. the same way. Kira, 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 it's completely okay. You can put that in the last paragraph or the, in the second last paragraph or maybe in the, in the discharge, I mean, in the, nursing management and progress area, you can mention. Somewhere you can mention, but that is not very, very important here. Only thing is, when we compare this one or when we consider this with the purpose of this letter, the, what is the purpose of this letter? Mr. Oriel has requested advice on low fat dietary guidelines and healthy simple recipes. Okay, and then finally, information should be sent to his home address. Okay, so in this case, Local physiotherapist to continue rehabilitation exercise program. There are so many people who are silent in this class. Some of them may be extra intelligent people, so they don't want to uh, interfere with others. That's the reason that they are not speaking. Anybody wants to say, like, will you include or not include? Mostly, I think I agree with you, um, but this is not very relevant here. Sir, I think we can include semi relevant because mm -hmm. exercise and diet has interconnected. Okay, they are interconnected, okay. Uh, sir, same way, the low factory diet aid and semi-healthy uh, simple recipes, they are saying. That means okay. the physiotherapist, uh, the rehabilitation exercise program is more You're right. important. Not important. So he will just get a background, what is happening with him. Like. Okay, just like Suraj was telling, physiotherapy will improve his overall condition, right? What yes, sir. This is also part of one and impost, important one, sir, in the cardiac cases. In the cardiac cases. And case. we are also uh, yes, give, uh, giving the information, the uh, community information section, the Heart mm -hmm. Foundation, the so community centers. They they should understand the all, uh, along with the part of diet, they should understand the physiotherapist also. So it's also important to the patient, especially cardiac patient. Are you in the cardiac section working? Yes, sir. I was okay. Okay, okay. Anybody I, else working in the cardiac section uh, at present? Okay. Sir, I used to work yes, in the cardiac. I used to work. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Christy, too. Christy, too, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so your uh, opinions are important here. Maybe, see, we cannot completely draw a complete conclusion um, that way. So, because all will be having different opinions and different experiences and different kind of patients whom you met in the past. So, that could be the reason anyway. So, looking at the last one, local physiotherapist to continue rehabilitation, it is also kind of up to you. Uh, but the weightage is only less than 80% here. So, if the letter is going to be a small one, you can include that. If the letter is going to be a big one, you can exclude that. So we have done today, we have successfully completed. I think first time we are completing uh, the elimination and marking in the same class. Okay, so we have to wind up this session. And now we have done the two things, marking and elimination. 
So tomorrow we'll be writing the letters. Starting point will be written. The, the opening part and the launching part of the letter will be done tomorrow. And you will understand how we do. Okay, so. Sir, yes. uh, finally yeah. one doubt, sir. Yeah. Uh, except, sir, comparing to other letters, we need to write the address, right? Where should we write, sir? The patient address. The patient address. address. Yes, sir. Is the patient's address given here? Yes, sir. Initial. Initially, okay, they okay, have fine. Been So, written, at the end of this letter, you have to write, um, like, uh, so if the letter becomes more than 200, 220 something, if it is 220 something, you can enclose it. I mean, uh, Mr. Oriel's address is being enclosed here with. Mr. Oriel's address is being enclosed here with. Or if the letter is less than 200 or less than this much, you can write um, kindly. Uh, sorry, his address is simple. His address is, then whatever is his address, just write that. So that is a direct way of writing the address. The other one is the indirect way of writing the address. You can follow any of them depending on the size of the letter. Okay. Sir. All right. So that is the end of this one. Sir, so, sir, yeah. yeah, tell me. Could you, re could you repeat the sentence uh, which we have to mention indirectly? Address directly. Time? Mr. Oriel's address is enclosed. Here with. Here with. Sir? Yeah? Can we write the details of his address I enclose in this letter? Oh, no. Uh, especially when you said um, I enclose. I enclose is basically active voice. I enclose the details of uh, Mr. Oriel's address. Details we don't write. Basically, we write the entire address. Details means some part of the or some major part of the address. Suppose you are writing almost everything, but the PIN code is not mentioned. So without the PIN code, the address cannot be complete. So there is nothing like details of his address. It is the address. Okay, there is nothing like details or the part or the full. Okay, so it should be address. And second thing. I enclose the details. What is the passive voice of I enclose? I enclose uh, the address. I enclose Mr. I enclose Mr. Oriel's address. What is the passive voice? Uh, Mr. Oriel's address was enclosed. No, was means something like see. Has right. been. No, no, is 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 enough. Is okay. okay. Simply is because see when you write that line, what are you doing? You are writing. The, you are writing the letter, right? You are writing the letter while yes. writing the letter only you can write I enclose, right? So it is not past tense. It is not future tense. At present, it is having. Okay, you are, see, just imagine you are having a pencil and you are writing a letter and then you are writing I am enclosing or I enclose. So I enclose Mr. Oriel's address becomes Mr. O Oriel's address is, address is enclosed here with. Simple, okay. Don't get confused. Confused, okay. Very simple thing. So we don't start with I enclose. We write in the passive voice and should be Mr. Oriel's address is enclosed here with. That's all. No one doubts, sir. Yeah, please. Uh, sir, in the address has been mentioned and the introductory part is sir. Again, you have to enclose the address. No, in the introductory part, we don't mention the address of the recipient. Sorry, the uh here, here, there are two addresses here. One, the address of the recipient. See, actually, uh, uh, look at this one. In most of the letters or OET letters, you are requesting a person either to go and have a home visit or to accept a patient, treat a patient, assess a patient. But this letter is a different one. You are writing a letter to somebody. Who will have to write a letter to somebody else? Okay. See, first one is your letter. That is an OET letter. Your letter is going to the community information section and they will write a letter with some details about the simple recipes and that will go to, okay, your letter will go to the community information section and they will write a letter and that will go to Mr. Oriel. Okay, so this case is a little different one. Okay, so 
when you write a letter to the community information section at the starting you have to write their address and this one is uh, mr oriel's um, address is there so that the community information section can write a letter to oriel so there are two addresses in this letter don't forget that because there are two letters in this letter i hope it is clear to you Okay, okay. If if anything is not clear, like if anybody is here in this class who uh, who doesn't want to ask questions publicly, come on. I am here. You can call me after uh, one p.m. I am kind of free. You can call me directly. You can call me. You can call um, any of our trainers. You can talk, talk to them. We are uh, ready to give you some answers. Okay. Let's end of this class. Bye bye. See you. So. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, sir, your discharge date is not written, so we can write uh, in our letter. No, the patient has been discharged. Here, returning home yes. to Woodwind is this one. That is today. That means returning means probably most probably today. Okay. So in the that we will be discussing tomorrow because tomorrow is the launching day and the uh, opening day. So in that one, we will see that. Okay. Okay, sir. All right. Sir, Wednesday okay. evening test uh, record session will be available. Sir. Available, sir, because that day. No, 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 no way, no way, no. You have to arrange your uh, duty accordingly. Uh, okay, the sir. recording of that will not be available. Everybody has to be present in the class. Try to be present. Like, uh, um, will you will you be able to uh, take a leave or something or during that time? Will you be able to manage your duty at that time? The problem is I have changed the department for a month. That's why, sir. Can it's my own department. I can arrange. I will request, sir. I will get a permission. Please make a request, okay? Because it is this test is supposed to be a live test. It it will not be repeated after that. Okay. Sir. Okay. Okay then. Bye bye. Please try to okay, adjust your timing accordingly. Let me see. Okay. Okay. okay.